Sorry. We're good. Sorry. What did the green grape say to the red grape? Um, wait. Wait, hold on. Um, is one of them racist? <laughs> I mean, probably. If they watch any any type of news media. What did it say? Breathe, you idiot. Breathe. Get it? Was nope. that? Okay. Nope. There was two other jokes yeah. that I was thinking about using. Well, I'm, still not, one of I'm still not getting it, though. It's because he's holding his breath, dude. Breathe, you idiot. Breathe. It's like he's purple. He's... Oh, green to grape. I had it backwards. That's why Vikings uh, colors are so perfect, because you guys uh, do nothing but choke. Uh, 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 you know what that gets? Uh, second office, we're back. Um, Doc's back. Dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to be a guest on the show. I'm really, really glad you guys had me on. I'm your host, Alec uh, George. With me, as always, is Sodi and a special, a very special guest, Doc. Yeah, this is a this is great, dude. Yeah. Your guys is set up down here. Woo! Thank you. First time? First time. Yeah. Good. Hopefully not the last. I don't know. I hope you guys have me back. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, see how you do. All right. You better be back. All right. Got shit to do. Yeah. We need you to carry. We've been struggling. Who's going to carry the boats? Exactly. Who's going to carry the what? The boats. The boats? The boats with a B. Oh. I thought we were going to go political for a second. I was like, mm. <coughs> Already. The boats don't count. That's so. usually on the paid content. Doc? Yeah. How have your last three weeks been? Too weeks. Rough. That's what Clifford the Big Red Dog said. You get it? No. <laughs> Man, this guy. Why? His dog took his place. Rough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dog was out of control. He was drinking mm-hmm. a lot. Well, yeah. That's what the seat will do to you. Problem is, exactly. it, it, none of it got it in comes his with mouth. the territory. Yeah, it just went all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you doing all right? Oh, last two days I've been a little down. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, just tired. Same man. I don't know what's going on. You're telling me. Is it is it moon in retrograde? It's gotta be or full or something in Mercury. Well, tell it to frick mm-hmm. off, man. Because yeah, if I could, I would. If I could, I would. But man, is there some fun things to talk about? Pull us out of this little slump. You know why? I haven't oh. swung a golf club in about a week and a half. Well, That's got to be it for me, too. I have not been golfing once this year. I've only... That's why I'm bummed out. I always feel better after a, a little bit of golf. Mm-hmm. Damn it. It wasn't so damn spendy. Yeah. What do you mean? Do driving ranges? Six bucks. I can go to driving range for six bucks. I'll chip that whole bucket from one spot onto the green. Well, that's what I was doing at the cabin. Pick Instead it up. Of going golf, we were just smacking them into the woods. It was great. Smacking the woods into the woods. Really? That's not far off your normal game. Exactly. <laughs> right at home. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Well, See, next time he does didn't that, miss a beat. you can say, well, stop practicing like that. Yeah. Stop practicing whacking it into the woods. <laughs> but if it goes straight, right? <laughs> it goes can straight you, into the woods. That's only when tell? you start. That's when you only start to adjust for your slices when you hit it straight. <laughs> exactly. Never, never plan for failure. Yeah. Never plan for failure is is anytime someone tries to adjust for their slice, I, I'm going to call you an idiot and tell you never plan for failure. And I say that because then they slice it and it's great. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, shall we? Have you guys hit a house yet? Golfing? Yes. Hey, yeah. I'm right, just checking. I love the signs, too, that say it's your responsibility. Like, oh, let me just hop the fence and go, oh, by the way, that was me that broke your window. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't alone. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, smoked one on Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and it echoes. Yep. It's great. Well, actually, I didn't hear the impact, but oh. unless the hand of God reached down and grabbed that ball out of the air and said, not today, <laughs> I, had, I had to have hit that thing. Big big bro was very quickly like, all right, get in the cart. Here we yep. go. <laughs> Gotta go. Well, you guys, some big Vikes news. He's here to stay. <laughs> Dalton Risner re-signing with the Vikes. I know, dude. He's a backup now, though. Is we, he? We signed another One year deal per source. That's per Shefty. That's Adam Shefty. We got Risner back, guys. You didn't think I was talking about someone else, did you? Yeah, well, he's only here for four seasons, which means... Are you still down after we signed JJ? Yeah, man. Because we signed JJ. That's an expensive girlfriend. <laughs> but who yeah. else? Okay. 
We, who, who else are we paying? We got a 10, but we're taking her to Wendy's. Let me let me say this. And, <laughs> and then, all of her friends are ugly. Very yeah. ugly. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't I haven't seen a good looking Wendy's since Wendy Peppercorn in Sandlot. Really? I don't know any Wendy's. Dude, the fast food chain's great. Well, yeah. It sure is. You know what? I actually Per Ian Report Port. Oh. The Vikings and all pro wide receiver Justin Jefferson. You like that? I you... was gonna give him credit on oh. one of his top fives he did. <gasps> you did fast food burgers. Yeah, I did. And you mentioned Burger King. Yeah. And I said they had declined in quality to the point they would never make my list. Mm. I went to Burger King. Yeah. In Albertville. Okay. Got me one of them rodeo burgers. Or no. But it was like a bacon king. It's like two massive patties. Yes. Tons of bacon. Mm-hmm. All the cheese. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm drooling. And it was phenomenal. Yes. Oh, my God. See, the only I thing they do good is their burgers. A gluttonous yeah. glute sitting in that truck just... Hammering away on this burger. So do the gluttonous glute. Disagree, yep. dude. That's not the only thing they do good. What else? Their fucking french fries are great. Oh, I don't... I yeah, think, no, oh. no, big, thick. Yeah. They're the thickest fries you can get, dude. You chuck some one of those at somebody <laughs> hard enough, it will bruise. I don't like their fries. What? Of course you fucking don't. I don't like their fries. It's like a... I think they're honestly, okay. Honestly, they're the closest thing to a Texas Roadhouse steak fry that you can get at a fast food place. Dude, but great. see, I'm all about the like the shoestring or thin crispy. Freddy's. Yep. In uh, McDonald's. Have you had Freddy's yet? Over McDonald's fries? Wait, I thought you hadn't had Freddy's. Yes. Really? Yeah. Hot take. Do I and I also would put Wendy's French fries over McDonald's fries. Any, anyone watch it on YouTube? I, w- I would love to see well, they're always hot to see your take of McDonald's or Burger King fries. I feel like it's an overwhelming. It depends opinion. on we, where you get them. You do a Rushmore fries right so now. So Garrison McDonald's. I'm sure you got that. Never miss fry guy. Garrison on Mille Lacs. Yeah. I've never had a bad meal out of that. The fries are always piping hot. Is that mm. McDonald's? You said in Garrison. Okay. Right on the lake. Yeah. But that's my guilty McDonald's. Where if I'm if I'm driving past it, they're getting my money. <laughs> it, it could be a McFlurry and a cup of water. For me, that's the St. Francis McDonald's on the way up to the cabin. Yeah. We, we hit it every time. Yeah. They do pretty well. But that's, I love it. They're always quick. There's never a massive line. They don't, I've never had them mess my order up, I mm-hmm. don't think, ever, mm-hmm. maybe. But always hot, always fast, and the fries are always, you got to sit there and blow on the first mm. couple. It's, that's the best. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Oh. Um, God, I've I'm never heard hungry. that take on Burger King's fries. Yeah, they're good. So the, the fact that it's both of you. I'm... Dude, and it's like, I hardly eat chicken anymore, right, because I have to drug myself, but um, yeah. dude, their chicken nuggets are good, too. Yeah, they got okay, great nuggies. Yeah. No, they got good nuggies. Okay. Okay. For a while, I'm mo- their ten piece was a buck forty nine. You remember that? Yes, I'd I do give remember them 15 that. Fifteen bucks. Fuck yeah. Yep, hundred. Let's go. <laughs> hundred rack. I'd go home after working at the old man's store <laughs> and play Madden and just dust a satchel of nuggets. <laughs> You're like you drop spell? the bag in the fryer. The, no, double bag it. How do you spell that? H u n n u r d. Hundred. No, it's hunted. H u n n i d. Oh, of course. Hunted. Gotcha. Yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> um, I'm mostly bitter at Burger King because they got rid of the spicy chicken. That was the best fast food spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, mm. it was really good. Better than Chick Fil A's. Then they had like a spicy chicken Better than McDonald's for a while. Yeah, they had the juniors, um, and they replaced it with the Royal Crispy Sandwich line. Fuck, I'm hungry, and they're absolutely trash. They're so bad. Why don't we order? Especially some compared, fast food? I couldn't believe that they just did a different spicy chicken sandwich when they had it. They had it. I'm door dashing. They had it. <laughs> yeah. Three three spicy chicks. Let's go. You're Come getting on. Freddy's. Come on. I got if cash I, for you. If I can find it. Let's go. Carry on. You, okay. you got a show okay. to do. Um, e, this is per Ian Report Port. Oh, yeah. The Vikings and all pro wide receiver Justin Jefferson have a new deal to reset the wide receiver market and make him the NFL's highest paid non-QB. Sources tell me and at Tom Palacero, it's a mammoth. Four-year extension worth 140 mil, 35 mil per year, which we've been saying all along. With 110 mil guaranteed. Holy moly. We got him. Well done, young man. Um, it's it's fine. I, I get we don't have really anyone throwing it to him, but who else are we paying? It kind of works out. Year four, we owe him like forty million dollars that year. Or like forty nine, it might be. That's fine. Like yeah, in that yeah. one year. Yeah, it, we're, not, we're not paying anyone else. Right? Hopefully, sure. hopefully JJ needs a max contract. Well, then. then in four or five years, he'll get his extension. When he wins and three JJ Super Bowls. <laughs> And JJ will walk. <laughs> and Addison will be up for a contract. Oh, shit. Future's bright. <clears throat> <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> Boom. Do you guys think that's too much for a wide receiver? 
Well, I mean, if you look at what other people have paid, I think it's the most. It's the most ever, ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So too much. I mean, who's to say? Who's to say? But it's it's definitely the most. Do you think Tyreek's contract breaks this? You no. think he gets no, paid more? No, he no, he won't get because he's thirty one, right? He's thirty thirty one. I'm thirty one, dude. Chill out. Well, me too. But I'm in my prime. Sure. But he's got a lot of miles on those fast legs. You're not as fast as you were four years ago, are you? Dude, I've honestly you been, been, I'm been faster. You may be, though. <laughs> you, I'm okay. honestly been right. faster. Right. Yep. Fair enough. I'm in better shape now than I was four years ago, that I, I think. That is fair enough. Yeah. I, that was a picture of me grilling one time, and I was like, boom. <laughs> that was a thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I had that hair, beard, everything. Well, I'm sorry to air this out, but um, you've come a long way from the uniboob. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was solid. That was a talk about a rack. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> what was that animation? Yeah, yeah. It was what you could do with the- <laughs> You did it. You did it at us. You, you did it at us. <laughs> like it's like yeah. it's an act. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Justin Jefferson's tweet: Something that once was a dream is now my reality. There are so many people that I can sit here and thank you all. And, and thank, but you all know who you are that helped me along the way, but we ain't stopping here. There's more to be done. Skull! And what he really wanted to say is, I'm rich, bitch! I'm rich, <laughs> <Yeah>. motherfuckers. <laughs> so true. And, he, and nobody would have blamed him. Additionally, from Adam Schefter, there were multiple teams this offseason that inquired about trading for Justin Jefferson. Per league sources, the Vikings let each one of them know in no uncertain terms that they had zero intention of trading Jefferson and the conversations ended right then and there. Boom. Well, they entertained it. Thoughts? They pick up the phone. Okay. The 49ers said, we'll give you we'll give you Debo and someone, and the Vikings were like, yeah, we're all right. Well, cut. man, that in- would not be enticing because we also have, would have signed Debo. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? CD Lamb signs for now because he's been holding out, waiting for JJ's contract. Thirty-four. Well, Jerry Jones ain't gonna pay him. No, of course not. It's Jerry didn't he, Jones. Didn't he say he thought he would like want more than JJ? Probably. I bet he's asking. Stupid. Stupid. He's great though. He's very good. Mm-hmm. I'd love to have him in fantasy, but Ken won't come off of him. Ken. Shots fired. Shots. I don't. Fired. I mean, I don't blame him, but. In all reality, we're psyched to have JJ, right, Sody? Oh, dude, I'm thrilled. Okay. You kidding me? He's Good. a talent. I'm glad right. you guys got right. him too. Just all this freaking trade talk oh, from, man. from you too. So proud that you guys signed him. Yeah. I yeah. I don't believe you. Are you happy for us? Happy. I don't. Uh-huh. Thrilled. Yeah. Woo! Doesn't Can I? feel real. May I? No, not that button. Wait. Hit it. Wait. I don't have a cheese sound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, other Vikes news. I'm psyched, by the way. You don't trade away your blue chip players, especially the ones you draft. In. This isn't college, dude. They're not blue chips. What do you mean? That's a term used all the time in the no. NFL. Sure is. Prove it. Jim Rant. Okay. <laughs> all right. Source. Other Vikings news. Oh, dude, five guys? Lock it up. I just need a single bacon. A single? Yeah, that's all I need. Don't go to the ball if you ain't going to dance. Yeah, they call it a junior cheeseburger for yeah. a reason when well, you get yeah. a single there. Ah, kids guys, I already <laughs> ate. Sounds like something my grandpa would get. Yeah. I already I'll ate. get full. <laughs> what, uh, what do you guys think of? Take the bun off. That's what my wife does. Yeah. <laughs> She'll ask for the gluten-free bun, and then she, yeah. and then she takes uh, off the top yeah. bun. <laughs> Love it. Hey, you got you to you do what you got to do. Ooh, Wendy's. You guys see what we're doing uh, with Nikhil Harry? Tight end. Yeah. I love that move. Yeah. I think that's huge. That's what happens when you become slow and big. <laughs> that's what happens when Hawkinson's not returning. Well, well no, it's, fu- it's funny how it's being, how I it's being pitched. I, I, did, I told you I, was, I, I was worried about six to eight. I know. Six to eight weeks. He's out. But It was he, the last game of the year, of course. They must be loving his recovery timetable if they're like, Nikhil, you're a tight end now. Get in there. <laughs> there you go. How do you like that? Well, I love how it's being pitched as like, oh, this could be the move for Nikhil Harry, who was well, a first round wide receiver. It's like, no, this is probably his last fucking chance. Yeah. It's his last chance. I honestly think if he can, he's big. He's what, 6'4? Yeah, he's a big dude. He's a beast. Yeah. I, I see Darren Waller, you know, a potential yeah. something like that. Isn't Darren Waller, 6'7? He's trash. Did you see he made a divorce music <laughs> yeah, video? He did. 
<laughs> made a music oh, video. I saw that. And I, it it, so I saw it got a lot of shit, but I did not what see a, it. What a, I'm sorry, but what a loser. It's so Dude, bad. Bring it up. I haven't heard it yet. Dude, you got to. I'm looking at burgers. <laughs> I can't Hardies? do it on the computer. It won't play. Hardee's? Doc, do me a solid. Has anyone had Hardee's breakfast? I need an opinion on that. Very good. Really? Yep. Dobby and I did it. It's great. It's great. You do everything with Dobby. Yeah. Yeah, we eat breakfast together. Jeez. Excuse me. Okay. Well, will you guys figure that out. Are you finding it? Because I do want to. Okay. So T minus. Do we have time for the next bit of? You flying? I need something here. What do you need? Doc, how much time before you got it? The divorce video? Or are you looking at burgers too? No. No, that's all me. I need the divorce video. Um, Did you? I'm trying, dude. It's all right. God damn. Take your time. So you know how like canceled in America we spell it with one L and in like England they still spell it with two? Like color. We dropped the the U. Nate. I didn't know canceled was spelled differently. Yeah, canceled yeah, only has right. one L. You're correct. Well, you can do both, but all these shortened versions, you know why that is? Hmm. Capitalism, man. Back in the day, newspaper prints would charge by the letter. So American newspapers would just shorten words all the time. And there are so many of them that used to have extra letters that they just freaking don't anymore. I wonder how much money they've actually saved doing that. But that, like, I'm just trying to think of what words did they fuck that we don't know about, that they screwed up, that were... You ki- ever, kids you, will spend every I, child, when they learn that word, will go, why is it spelled like this and pronounced that way? Because there used to be an extra E at the end that differentiated the two. Yeah. But the newspaper company dropped it because capitalism ruins everything, including language. I'm just kidding. Not everything. Capitalism is sweet, but capitalism did shorten a lot of words. <laughs> but you, you know what they didn't short? That. Capitalism. They didn't. They didn't chop that one up. Dude, I can't. I can't find anything without <laughs> just one else fucking talking over the video. That's man. If if there's one thing that grinds my gears, is people that do that. <laughs> that make those, that make that make those videos. <laughs> Stop it. Do you want burger? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're yeah. We doing this? Yeah, let's go. Emily's gonna be like, "Who the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, C.J. Stroud rips into Aaron Rodgers with three hot takes. Where'd it go? Give me that. Do you guys see this? I want to know if you agree or disagree. I disagree on one pretty strongly. <laughs> All right. First, he says, you know what I think it is? I've talked to Tom Brady about this because he's a good mentor to me. What he told me is his teammates and how he treats his teammates, and that's where I think it falls off for Rodgers. We don't know how Aaron Rodgers treats his teammates, but you can guarantee that Tom Brady treats his teammates right because he got those rings. Thoughts? I agree. Seems like kind of an indirect correlation, but I agree. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know if it, God, factors into winning Super Bowls, but indirect correlation is one of my favorite phrases. Yeah, I love that. Did I get you going? Yeah, I, that's one. Yeah, you chubbed him up. It. Oh, nice. Calm down. Table's lifting up. <laughs> God, fucking hold it down. <laughs> God damn. Um. Okay. Agree. Next, God, next point is trash. Thank you. Next point. If you give Matthew Stafford a chance like Aaron Rodgers had, I guarantee you he might have had more rings, Stroud said. I'd say he would have like three or four rings. Super disagree. Stafford's not that guy. Yeah, it's like what, like what Stafford's on the Packers instead of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, no, Rodgers never really had a great team surrounding him. Yeah, no, I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, Five Guys is going to run 24 bucks for a burger and fries. I haven't even put a drink on here. Yeah, that's fucked up. Don't. I'm not going to ask you to do that. That's, that's, this is why we don't DoorDash. This is why you don't DoorDash. Everyone, don't DoorDash. It's, and I'm pretty sure I have like the premium. So you know what DoorDash is, numbers. right? I mean, it's essentially like, hey, you peasant, please come lay Five Guys at my doorstep. Yes, and <laughs> I'm going to pay busy. for it. I'm going to pay extra for it. Yeah. We're no, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah, twenty four bucks for burger and fries because getting a DoorDash. Well, it's Five Guys, I, dude. Which five, is a little more expensive. Yeah, I mean, so you you walk into Five Guys, you're probably paying eighteen dollars for that instead of twenty four. It's not like That's Five Guys point. is cheap. He's right. It's Five That's Guys. Right. You got to pay all Five Guys. Right. Um, so di- so now, disagree with that. I'm so you, hungry. <laughs> so many thoughts. God. Thoughts, th- <laughs> thoughts on the Stafford take. I love Stafford. I think what he says. Nine times out of ten is truthful and knowledgeable. 
I would take most of his opinions for what they are. Switch him and Rodgers. What's, what's the outcome? What do you mean, switch him? Um, Sta- Stafford in, on Green Bay for the length that Rodgers is on Green Bay. Rodgers won Super Bowl. How many does Stafford get? Honestly? I think more. Only reason I could think that is because Rodgers got to the championship game a few times, and Stafford seems to rise in those moments. I just, right. I was going to say, I just think the defenses that Green Bay used to have back then helped them a lot, and Detroit did not have those defenses. I do have to say 2011, the Super Bowl run, was the most impressive Super Bowl run I've seen by a quarterback. And Stafford was never, never, the, one, never the problem, I, I will say that. That's a good point. In Detroit, I think, he was never really the problem. Mm-hmm. And clearly he showed it by going to L.A. and just, boom, good team, Super Bowl. So, yeah, I think if he would have been in Green Bay. Wait a minute. Is Stafford better than Rodgers? That's, that's, the, that's the point. That's, that's, that's what we're talking about. I should have listened the first time. <laughs> yeah, Dude, it's okay, man. You got burgers in you your face. You burgers going. I get it. Yeah. They're I mean, both. I, I, you think See, that? I'm a sucker, though, because I love Stafford. You've always Loved him in college. Go dogs. Him and No Shama right now. Yeah. Fucking AJ Green? I'm pretty sure he was passing to okay. AJ Green in college. Okay, hold on. So he got what? called out in our group chat and it was hilarious. Um what? Did you see it? Did you see um Josh call you out? No. You didn't acknowledge it. It was great. So when Tom was sharing uh Tom got a very cool gift from one of his students, um, gave him all of his Minnesota um uh Vikings cards from his football card collection. And in that collection was one John David Booty. And one guy in our chat said, Who the hell is John David Booty? And in 30 seconds, Sody responds, Trojans. Yeah. So Josh University. said, how the hell do you know which college John fucking David Booty went to, but you mess up players' names all the goddamn time? It's the ones I care about. Still trapped. <laughs> JDB? He was the future, dude. Yeah, that booty. JDB. The booty's in the building. At zero point was he the future. <laughs> John David Booty was mm-hmm. more out of shape coming out of college than Mac Jones. No, it's cool, man. Fuck is that noise? Uh, so re- it was a regenerator. It's an air purifier, actually. George got one because we yelled at him about his air quality last time. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway, it's over there. Okay. Well, I'm just a guest. I'm just a kid. I want to eat my pistachios. But um, like Kirk and noisy. Falcons are potentially facing punishment. You never told us what the third take was. What? But they knew this was happening. Why do you think they drafted a quarterback? They knew they weren't going to have a first-round pick next year. But they wanted Kirk Cousins bad enough. That's oh, the first one is more of a is more of like a challenge. You want rings? Eli got two. So he's also saying Eli's better. Oh, okay. Overall, I disagree. Yeah, Eli's not better. Um, again, 2011 playoff run, all away games. Chicago, Atlanta. Come on, Packers fan. First of all, I think Falcons were the favorite to come out of the NFC that year, if not the Super Bowl favorites. Rodgers had no problem with them. It was crazy. And then Steelers in the Super Bowl. What? You're a Packers fan. Jordy Nelson. Dude, James Harrison. Greg Jenny. Remember James Harrison? House in that pick six? That was a great Super Bowl. That was a super good game. That was against the Cardinals. Different game. They won that one. Kurt Warner. That's right. <laughs> nice. Grocery man. Yeah. Grocery man. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Kirk and Falcons potentially facing punishment. Decision's coming. What do you think it's going to be? Oh, they're going to find him. Lose a third-round pick. Is that it? Hey, third-round pick, that's kind of a big deal. What are you going to do? So, yeah, I would love for you to contribute. I'm sorry, dude. I'm you just nose deep in burgers right I'm now. I'm sorry. Well, we're not eating then. I told you this is going to happen. We got food for you. We'll get food. I'll just have my water. <laughs> you got seeds. You got pretzels in front of you. You're yeah, covered. Just like every yoga mom right you there. You are covered. You got you to gotta pretend that water is a burger. <sighs> Sody, what's happening to Kirk and Falcons? I'm stuffed. What's going to happen? Um, they're going to fly. No, I think, I think he'll do well there. I think he's got enough weapons. God damn no, it. they're gonna not get a first round pick next year. More than likely, more than likely, they'll have to forfeit a first round pick. First? What? You think first? Yes. That'd be great. Which is why they, they knew that. Does anything that's why they do the Vikings get anything? No. Because it hurt us. You don't get I know, rewarded. That's what sucks. But did it? Well, that's the argument. It was never gonna happen. You guys were never gonna resign him. Yeah, because they tampered. Yeah, because they tampered. That's the idea. Yep. We didn't have an opportunity. It wasn't fair. 
Now give us that first. Play a... Motherfuckers? Man. Doc? I don't know why I came back to this. Um, This is cool. Cause this, is, um, every this, time is, this is semi-Minnesota news. About a half hour into my hour-long drive. <laughs> like, what, the, what, what the hell? Usually about the time I hit the tunnel. What? I'm, look, I'm looking around saying... <laughs> This is cool. This is kind of this is kind of Minnesota news. Gable Stevenson, oh, Olympic, Olympic gold medalist, love this, and one of the most dominant college res- wrestlers in NCAA history, is signing with the Bills. I bet he's going to do well. No, I, I bet he doesn't make the team. He probably doesn't make the team. Why? Because it's a different thing. D- he's trash. It's, it's just different. He's a trash person. Okay, is he? Yeah. Oh, Brock, I didn't know that. Brock Lesnar was a Viking for a little bit. Why is he a trash person? He didn't make the team. Yeah, what happened? I met him in traffic one time, and he was delightful. Did you actually? Yeah. Just like I used to coach wrestling, dude. dude he's mm-hmm. he's bland. I coached a practice. He's on... like all of White Mom's American food. There's no spice. Does that make him a bad person? Yeah. What, what's wrong with that, dude? So he's a bad person. Okay, bad person might have went too far. Is okay. Christian Ponder a bad person? Okay. Because yes. that guy's about as bland as cardboard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I, what do you mean? He's a man of God. He cost you a first round pick and did nothing sure for did. you. We That's... hugged. We <laughs> hugged behind. We <laughs> hugged <laughs> beside the point. We hugged about Christian Ponder. Yeah, I still. I think he was mismanaged. You know? <laughs> I think Childers hurt him. What um what position is he playing? He doesn't he's play be a defensive tackle. D tackle. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I tell what you, if he's great? I, he flamed out of WWE. He stri- couldn't do. He did WWE. Yes. He couldn't do scripted wrestling, and you think he's going to be a professional hey, football player? That's a skill. That's, that's what I'm skill. saying. You you got to act. That's what I'm saying. He you couldn't don't act in football. Oh, the hell they don't. <laughs> okay. Sure. What if he's great? I can see it. He's strong well, as I'll shit. Eat, I'll eat my words. He's strong as hell. He's got to be. How old is he though? No, he's he's young. Old enough is to he? party. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Um. All right. That's enough NFL. Who needs it? Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight postponed for Mike's health. Yeah. They should cancel it for the same reason. For everyone's health, they should just cancel that. And he's got an ulcer. I know. Well, hey, let him deal with it, and then you can kick some butt. Kick some butt. Hmm. Was that audible? Could you guys hear that one? I can hear you. I don't know if anyone likes that. All right, I'll stop. Jane loves it. Why is she down here? Hey, she loves us. Um, NHL. We got a Stanley Cup matchup. Let's go Edmonton. Edmonton? First Florida. Let's get oily. Yeah? Connor McCheeses. Should we get oiled Is up? Is it because of that fan? What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. I don't. Oh. The celebration video? Who? The young lady who took off her jersey in the stands? No. Oh, I missed that yeah. too. Well, come on. Oh, I can't. Um, After the podcast. I, I would pull that up my on my phone. Because right. she was indecent. Um, who's winning? <laughs> who's taking it? I hope Edmonton. Yeah, Doc. Florida's not Florida's going to win to be messed with. Yeah, though. Florida's crazy. Florida in six, six, huh? They still have. I no. See, I want Connor McDavid to win this cup to solidify. It'd be cool if he his, just his name. If he just his dominates award. and yeah, because he I, deserves it. I'm not. I'm not upset with either team that wins. For sure. I, I like McDavid and I love Kachuk on Florida. So Kachuk. I, like yeah, I have Burns, his autographed Calgary Flames jersey. I know in my, you do, in my, which is yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. So seriously, yeah, pretty sweet. Is it red? Yeah. Oh, I love those jerseys. Yeah, dude, they're, it's sweet. I liked Jerome. Excuse Aginla. you, sweater. Yeah, you oh. are correct. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Remember the goalie for the uh, Flames growing I up? I did a superstar with a Ginla in NHL 09. Yep, loved a Ginla. Mika Kippersoff, man. <clears throat> That's right, man. What? <laughs> yeah, Mika, little redhead. It was perfect because he was on the Flames. All of our knowledge is video games based. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Because I used to cool, 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 cool. be like, I don't want him on my team. He's uh-huh. a Calgary guy. Boo. Um, A new drug that can regrow teeth. Damn. It's the world's first, and they're going to start testing it on... Um, Methods? Like, nope. So they worked on rats. Oh. They're going to start on adults and eventually work their way to kids. Yeah, so Methods. I mean, that's who needs new Oh, that's teeth. so true. Yeah. yeah. Calling all meth heads. Here's 20 bucks. Right. Who doesn't <laughs> sign up for that? <laughs> <laughs> they spent all their money on Ozempic. All the people that need teeth. <laughs> Signed up for Ozempic. Yeah. They cracked them on, on all the food they chowed down. Um, so, uh, so last week, 
We so did you remember? So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead. We can grow teeth, but we we can't live stream a moon landing. We, we're growing teeth <laughs> out of people's freaking skulls. You're playing God in someone's mouth. It's just like calcium. But we can't live stream so again. Something we did in the seventies. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Gordon, <to that>. shit. <laughs> was wasn't it? I don't know. I saw some, know. a T-shirt the other day or something that said NASA, not a space administration. <laughs> like, we're just not. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. That's what this stands for. Well, you know, NASA originally was founded to study the ocean. Really? Yeah. I believe it. And then they got so deep and got scared of what they saw. They're like, fuck, we got to figure out how to get off the planet. We got to get the fuck away from this planet. Yeah. Yep. There what, are. What'd they see down there? <laughs> Megalodon. Megalodon. The Meg. Yep. Yeah, or the sunken alien spaceship. Must have been before Jason Statham got down there. Otherwise, they would have been fine. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. They would have been fine. <laughs> she, was, she was down there. <laughs> oh, hell! Turn it around! Turn it around! <laughs> Shit! I said! Yep. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> anyway. Um, no. Uh, but... So... Talk about another thing that ex- explain this to me. Let me ask you a question. All right. Can't wait. Yeah. You, you, know, you guys know the videos of like the nuclear explosions where the houses are getting blown away and shit. Oh God, this is great. I know where you're going. <clears throat> right? Yes. Camera's fine. Yeah. In the blast radius, actually in front of the blast radius that the you can see it hit in the front of the house. Are nuclear bombs not even real? Well, how well, is the camera fine? If that mm-hmm. blows a fucking house away. The camera's not fine. And you're telling me the radiation doesn't affect the film, the actual film that they were using at that point? No well, idea. and there's some videos where where there's not a car, and then there's a yeah, car. Yeah, the bomb goes off, and then there's a car parked behind yeah. it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And it's like, okay, so clearly that, that's doctored. But there was there's one of them. You look at it, and as it hits, you can see the popsicle sticks coming out of the roof. So it's clearly something they just filmed and yeah. blew compressed air at real quick and went, Pff. Mm-hmm. It's nuts. So A bombs don't exist. Oh no! See, no, oh, that's different. No, Wait, no. an A bomb's different than a nuke, isn't it? Or is that an atomic? Yeah, it's kind of the same. Well, an H bomb's a hydrogen. You could definitely ask the people in Japan; they exist. <laughs> um, I yeah. just think it was a. They burnt their shadows into walls. It, w- it was a race to prove that we had it done when it wasn't done. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we were just like, look what we can do. Yeah. Before we could quite do yeah. it. Look how big my <laughs> stick is. Hell yeah! Well. Has anyone actually ever launched a nuke, like exploded a nuclear warhead? Have we tested those? Us. We used them. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. Eh. You, there's a map that shows you how many people have blown up nuclear war. No, that's right. Ton, millions. Or not millions, but there's a map that shows you the countries that have tested nuclear warheads and where they went off. There's, there's overhead shots of testing sites in Nevada where like 200 have gone off and there's fucking craters everywhere. Yeah. It looks like the damn moon. But, right? Oh. So oh, what did I stumbled on that one? Whoa. That was unintentional. Oh. Hey yo. All of these are going off and cow farts. That's what's that's what's gonna do the world in, just so you know. You're really stinky though. Hey man, that heat dome is real. Dude, okay. Yeah. Lock yourself in a garage with a cow overnight and then a running car. Tell me tell me which one's worse for you. <laughs> the cow. What did the cow just eat? I think we should take Bill Gates, put him in a garage with a cow for a night, and say, how was your experience? Mm. And then say, okay, we're going to put you in a car or a garage with a, a running Honda Civic. You know what? Fuck it. Give him a hybrid. <laughs> Battery only lasts a couple hours, <laughs> and then that gas hybrid. is going to kick in. You know what? I'm like, ooh. You don't think the cow will get him before a hybrid? Not I, if he avoids it. I bet he enjoys the cow. Oh, Doc. Well, he's, he's like the biggest landowner in America now. Yeah. So, so, so do you. Don't get you going. <laughs> Maybe you recall from last week, one Prince King. Yeah. Did you did you listen to your own show last week, Doc? <laughs> I'm just a guest on this. I don't know what you're talking so about. So you're not familiar with that. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Prince, Prince King, an 81-year-old <laughs> serial slingshot shooter, was finally caught. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about when I'm not here? Prince King, man. Prince King. 81-year-old serial a slingshot serial shooter. Slingshot they shooter. never caught him because he would just do it from his backyard. He'd just, like, poke over his fence and... Car windows, people, house windows. No one ever knew it was him. For years. For years. No one could put that together. He was caught. He was... He I mean, was, fi- he was, he was fighting still running free. Um, Where are the bodies, G? He, um... 
he he passed away a few days ago. Yeah. yeah. So that was crazy. We talk yeah. about him, then he died. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. Wait, seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's all we got to do? He had health so let's issues. Jump back on Bill Gates. He had health issues. Yeah. So Biden's killing it. <laughs> what else you got for Bill Gates, Sody? Um, I don't know. Strongly worded letter, maybe. Mm. Yeah. If he'd read it, he, he wouldn't. You guys want to want to talk about Tim Rolls? Seems like you do. Ow. <laughs> oh. You're going to be hearing a lot less of that because it's the off season now. Fuck. But hey, dude, that was a blast. That was a freaking blast. I know. If you told me at the beginning of the year. I know. I'll guarantee you the Wolves. Well, I mean, we could almost guarantee the Wolves weren't going to win a title. But we far outseeded, exceeded any expectations we had. We killed it. Yeah. We did very well. And I think we solidified us as a in as the future a, as a powerhouse in the future to come it well look at all the new fans you made thank you oh mm-hmm. um a, a truly a truly insane season um i really don't know what to say about it but um my the best season i've been a part of as a fan hands down absolutely absolutely um 100 and team chemistry had a lot to do with that so i'm really interested to see <clears throat> Who will remain with us? Who oh, will not? Um, Can't wait for all the shakeups. Jordan McLaughlin said his goodbye via Twitter. Who's that? L- Little Mac. Oh yeah, third string point guard. Yeah. Um, saw almost zero playing time once we signed Marcus Morris. Sorry, not that, not the power forward who has a twin, Monty Morris. Um, but he's been great. He was, he's been great for us for a few years. Yeah, especially as a backup. Uh, Rotational minutes. Man, can't wait till we get rid of Rudy. Okay, I'll get right into it then, Doc, because you're because you're wrong, because mm. you're super wrong. Um, where is it? I had it right here. Hold on. Interesting Rudy stat. Parentheses for Doc. <laughs> Ready for this? In the playoffs, when Rudy Gobert was on the floor, the Wolves scored. And th- so this is this is an offensive Rudy stat, by the way. Okay. In the playoffs, when Rudy Gobert was on the floor, the Wolves scored 16 more points than when he was off the floor. Rudy's presence elevates our offense to a 121.5 rating to what would be the number two offense in the playoffs and the regular season, and we are the third worst offense when he's off. Now you got him excited. What now? What do you think? Just because of how he looks. I get it. He looks stupid. What's his defensive stats? Even better. I don't think so. Yes. No. His on-off numbers in the playoffs were crazy. I don't know, man. Did you see Luca drain that three on him? Dude, yeah. stop. Stop. You're a Wolves fan. Stop. I could be an organization fan. You're not a fan of Rudy. I'm a big We, we don't fan. get to the conference finals yeah. without Rudy. Luca's sick. God, he's fun to watch. For real, though. He would look great for in real, the though. Wolves jersey. Mm-hmm. God, the intensity that guy brings. Well, you. So <clears throat> here's the thing Ant's cool, too. You got to pick. Love Ant. This, okay. this is what you got to pick. You got to. Are you keeping Rudy or are you keeping Cat? You can't keep both. No. Theoretically. What do you mean? Why, why not? Because if you keep Rudy, Cat's playing out of position. And that hurts him. Hurts the team. Nah. He's not a power forward. No, but he took... Everyone was worried about the defense he would play as a power forward. His defense was the best it's been in his career this year. On offense... Like I said, we didn't do it enough. St- stick him in the corner and let him work. I I do kind of agree, and and believe me, I'm intrigued by the idea of a more heliocentric five out offense with Cat and Edwards. I think that would be great. Um, Cat has also never found out how to be a solid pick and roll partner with any point guard, which is really weird. He's never had a successful pick and roll with anyone he's played with. Which is just a little goofy. I don't know what I'm saying with that, but it's goofy. Um, anyways, Rudy's great. We don't get to the conference finals without him. Um, and as far as keeping them both, we just restructured Mr. Connolly's contract. So instead of his opt-out being right now, where he could opt out now if he wanted, we pushed it a year. He's under contract for one more year. And then he's able to opt out. 
And after all that. <laughs> after all that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All that um, the speculation being he's waiting to see what happens with ownership. Yeah. The speculation being he doesn't want to work for Glenn Taylor. Ooh, who does? Because the rumor was Glenn Taylor had no interest in going after Tim Connolly as our GN, GM, saying something along the lines of, guys like that don't come to Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And that's why fuck Glenn Taylor. Yep. And that's why he needs to fuck off. Yep. Jeez. You just need to give it up. Dude. I'm so over Man. it. Just like, focus on the chickens. <clears throat> you never want to nice. work for the wolves. I would love to work for the wolves. Well, not with that voice. Not Glenn Taylor. What did, KG, what did KG say? Something about poop. snake MFers? Mm-hmm. 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 No, it was Samuel L. Jackson, and they were on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That was a good one. A uh, few... Uh, a uh, few parting gifts for the Wolves season. Um, seriously, though, a, a congrats to the Wolves and a congrats to the fans of Minnesota. We, we got to see something we, we haven't seen in a long, long time, and Christ, was it fun. It was so fun. Yeah, it was. Um, that was a hoot and a half. And man. I just think it's crazy how the one series we come to be favored in, and we just lay a damn egg. Edward said himself, not one game in the Western Conference Finals did we click as a team. Really? Not one damn game. I would agree. Yeah, it was easy to see. It was crazy. And I'll still give the Mavs credit because playing great. Maybe the best team in the league since the All-Star break. But, yeah, man, still, the Wolves did not play as close to as well as they were able. Mm-mm. You know. Um, Ant becomes the second player in NBA history to record 400-plus points, 100-plus rebounds, and 100-plus assists in a single playoff run at age 22 or younger. First accomplished by LeBron in 07. Nice. Oh, so that's very cool. Mm-hmm. Congrats, Ant. Um, Finch on Cat after the season ended. That's a children's book, actually. Finch on Cat. Mm-hmm. Quote: It's a lesson in patience. I one hundred percent believe Cat can help take us where we want to go. <laughs> we should really write that. It's so easy to write a children's book. Really? R- you think so? Yeah. Do it. Done. What would it be about? What you just said. Finch Underprivileged on vegetables. Finch, Finch, on, on Finch on cat. Finch on cat. Chris Finch says, I 100% believe cat can help take us where we want to go. You got to do like something after that, like a memoir. Finch on cat. What are you doing? He's writing. Finch. Are you writing now? He's starting Finch on cat. So, so, I don't, I, I just, I don't understand this. We haven't sold shit since the Wolves have been eliminated. Someone just Makes bought sense. a hollowed Be Like Gain shirt. Fucking right. From AZ, from Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. Fucking right. Yoked. Let's go. It's a good shirt. Buy your shirts. He must work out. <laughs> <laughs> Secondoffice.org. That's our shop. You can get a lot of cool stuff. There are some really cool, th- by the way. You I really gotta, are. I got to leave you some cash and get some um, more stuff. This tweet from Michael Grady, play-by-play guy. Didn't end the way we wanted, but this was one of the most exhilarating rides I've ever been on. This team brought so many smiles and joy to us all, and the best part is this is just the beginning. Going to enjoy this offseason, but I already can't wait to return in the fall. Michael Grady's back. Yep. Oh, let's go. Love that. He was he was a joy to listen to. Mm-hmm. Um, there's part of me that does wish we still had a um, little Mr. Benz with us in those random ant facts when ant would throw down. Ant can carry 40 times their body weight and shit like that. Ants can fly every time Ant did something good. I missed that, but Grady filled his shoes very nicely. And I have zero complaints. Dave Benz, <laughs> miss ya. Um, do you guys think Cat can help get the wolves where they want to go? I think the wolf would eat the cat first. Probably. The thing is, I think he's capable. That's, what's, that's what sucks. It's what you talked about, Sodi. We've, we've seen him at his best, and holy shit. That's why we're mad. That's why we're mad. <laughs> That's exactly why we're mad. We know you're talented. Yep. We see what you can do. Yep. On any given night. It's like that that kid that, you know, can juke or run through anybody on the football field. Mm-hmm. And he's just kicking dirt, walking around, picking yep. flowers, picking snow. Just like, come on, dude, dial in. Frick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, this also from Shams Sharania. The Timberwolves want to keep their core. Unless they're trading one of those guys, they're going into next season for the first time under Glenn Taylor's ownership. Play, paying the luxury tax. 
Yep. First time we're ever paying the luxury tax. Yeah. Keeping them together. I love it. Boys are back in town. Oh, back in town. Um, sad Wolves news. Mike and Nori is getting some head coaching attention. Lakers, Cavs, both interviewing him for head coaching spot. Probably. That's good for him. His family should be thrilled. I know. I know. But he was also a um, super fun part of the season in his post-game and halftime uh, interviews. That's how the shit works, dude. Good coaches get promoted. And he filled in admirably with Finch. Yeah. He had Finch right behind him, but still. Yeah, he's, not going, he's not going to the Lakers. Yeah, that's Reddick, apparently. Yeah. Cat's out of the bag. Not you know that? Yeah, JJ's calling. Yeah, all you got to do is do a podcast. You can be an NBA coach. Yep. <laughs> yep. How about... Uh, Wait a minute. We have a podcast. I don't know anything about basketball. Dribble. But, shoot. <laughs> no. It's art, dude. Be your, be your defense coordinator. I, I watched enough basketball this year to reappreciate it. I want some of these pretzels. Yeah, it's awesome. But I know they're going to be loud, so I can't. Just carry on. God, we're, I'm starving, dude. A few minutes. A few minutes, brother. To what? Till we're done. Seriously? Some WNBA stuff. We've got so much more stuff to do. No, we don't. How long have we been recording? We're almost done with this one, and then you can eat as much as you want. But then we got to do premium. Yeah, he can we got to give the people what they want. He can eat. It's his show. Let him eat. Let it you can find that out at the dash second dash office dot com. Click on that beautiful Mount Rushmore face of so- or of Sody Jesus of Georgie. I'm at, that's me. <laughs> and you can listen to Sody ramble about so much, mm-hmm. about so so much. Uh, WMEA. Mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark. Fastest to 100 points and 50 assists as the WA hits record viewership. You serious? Mm-hmm. Wait. Record viewership. It's not just her, though. On ION, <laughs> NBA TV, and CBS. Yeah. It's not just Caitlin Clark. Right. I want y'all to know that. Mm. It ain't just Caitlin. The reason the WNBA is becoming so popular is not just Caitlin Clark. Well, it, who else? Well, that's the, the... Right now, I want people to ask themselves, if they don't have a, a name for this person... Maybe she's not. Yeah, may, maybe it is just Caitlyn. But there is somebody, and what I was like is if if you're the main, you know how we know Caitlyn Clark's the reason WA is? Because we're talking about her. Right. We're not talking about Angel Reese. Angel Reese is talking about herself. Mm-hmm. She had to mm-hmm. remind everybody that the WNBA, the reason they're getting chartered flights next year is not just because of Caitlyn Clark. For real. It's because of her, too. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who she was until she said that. Record attendance, <laughs> record income. Chartered flights. Oh, wait, no. Literally because of this one player. I did know her name. Isn't she on Minnesota? Angel no. Reese? No. Chicago. Chicago. Was she? I no, didn't, she I went didn't to mind, LSU. I didn't mind no. Angel, but she stood up and applauded emphatically after that clown teammate of hers body checked Caitlin. Yeah. And sure, that, like, not super rough. That's a, that's a hey, here that's a hey, that's here I am. It's not a basketball play. It's not a basketball play. And it's bullshit. But I think it's more bullshit that Angel would stand up and and do that, and then yeah, it goes on to say, oh yeah, and the the Go player nuts the about player who body checked her also said, what else does she bring besides three point shooting? And the, again, I, the funny thing is your the, your personal safety. Yeah, she the, she brought that. The the lady who body say checked her that's crazy. She's been kicked off of two teams, played in a league outside of the WNBA. Mm-hmm. She's just now back this year. Mm-hmm. She doesn't do that if it's not Caitlin Clark. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Just trash. Mm-hmm. So true. So trash. So trash. Everyone's jealous. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be a pick me girl. Yeah. What's that? Pick me. Pick me. Pick, pick me. me. It, okay. That's the, what you deal the, with the, in the life. The jealousy is clear. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's what which you, is, which <laughs> makes it all kind of funny, but it's, you it's know. not. <clears throat> Sad. Your Minnesota Twins. Royce Lewis returns for the Yank series. Yeah. Homered in his first game back. We talk about baseball? Yeah, we do. Now we do because Royce Lewis is back. And he homered in his first game back, which was good for the Twins' only run. Really? We lost 5-1. Sick. But he did it all. Drew a couple walks, had a great defensive play. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Cool. So Royce is back. Please stay healthy. Good job. That'd be great if he could stay healthy. I love him. Well, that'd be great if everyone could stay healthy, but... Yeah, you're telling me. You are telling me. Hmm. Twins are 33 and 27, third in the AL Central, seven games out of first. Doc, how's your Red Sox? We talk about baseball now. I fucking know. Oh, come on. How are they doing? I don't think I'm a Red Sox fan. Whoa. <laughs> what happened? Huh? 
Seriously? I just don't watch baseball, dude. Yeah, me either. I have a fantasy baseball team. I really don't watch baseball either. You want to know what I do with my fantasy baseball team? I love going to baseball games, but that's really it. I hit research. It shows me a bunch of numbers. Whoever's yeah, got the higher numbers, I pick them up. You're a numbers I, guy. You are a numbers guy. I don't guy. fucking know anything about baseball. Who's your team? I don't I have a I, I legit struggle with it. I don't think I have a baseball team. Here you go. First step is admitting. Okay, speaking of that, so all the teams that they've canceled, right? Team names that were bad. How do they they haven't got rid of the San Diego Daddies yet? And the other thing, the, what? the Padres. Oh, the Daddy. The Padres, you know what that is? That's the fathers from like the Catholic Church down there. They did a lot of bad stuff to young I like this people. Point. I like this point. But nobody's getting rid of the daddies. The Diego daddies, man. I don't Diego get it. Daddies. The Padres just exist. You know who they're... Man, that might be my team now. Have you ever seen oh, their... Man. <laughs> Someone's got to be the Mamacitas. <laughs> Have you ever seen their logo? Yeah. It's like Friar Tuck. It's, it's like the dude with the monk cut, kind of. Is it? Yeah. Like Lil John from is Robin he, Hood. Is he a bad guy? I don't know, but it's it's something the fryer. It's weird. It's weird. We'll see you guys next week. Love you.